jab has to look great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right hand. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Round one, a little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, he has certainly found the range. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen our tale of the tape for this our main event of the evening so more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, presenting the challenger, Jumbo. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Shanghai, China, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bass. Uh, 
All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to build up your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That's a big strike right there. about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. And he landed the right hand there. Well, missed on that one. Pretty good right hand. Oh, big head kick lands. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. And both guys really throwing with authority. with that jab attempt there. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Good punch, Lance. Nice. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. The combinations are flowing. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Combo there lands again. Look at the turtles in that kick. And that one certainly found the target. Continuing to go to the head. Just missing on the high kick there. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Throws the right hand there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this match. Slips. See, it didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on. Bring up over the top. This fight's gonna be over. DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent. Got him going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Straight punch land. I mean, he's cutting it down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You knocked him down. You've shown you have the power to put anybody away. This round, let's go back to the same game plan. I want you to stay. You ready? You ready? Let's round go. two is underway. Nice, sneaky head kick. to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Oh, huge oh, right hands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be 
on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, big left. Big punch lands. Ooh. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? You hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, he has certainly found the range. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. There, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Slips to avoid the run. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He's got to go chase that finish. What a now. fight so far. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the world. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in his championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 31 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he has all the skills to reign atop.